Okay, our next step is to clean the manifold. Do this by removing the hoses right here with the 11 16 wrench. After the hoses are removed, we're going to remove the manifold elbows simply by using a crescent wrench. Okay, now that I have the elbows off, I'm going to remove the nightcap and the retaining nut and start to disassemble the drain valves here. Got all the parts off it. Now I'm going to use a quarter inch drill bit and clean out the two front ports on the manifold itself. Make sure I get all the debris out of there. Next, I'm going to clean out the side ports where the elbows go into simply by using a screwdriver to remove the old debris that you might have in there. A pair of pliers helps too to pull out some of the chunks. Next, I'm going to go ahead and clean the threads with a uh, wire brush. This will help your retaining nut go on much easier. Next, I'm going to use a, a smaller 8 inch drill bit and clean out all these valves and fittings. Now that I have used my drill bit to clean it out, I'm going to use air compressor to simply blow out any debris that might be left in there. Now that I have all my parts clean, I'm going to go ahead and reapply the Teflon tape to all the pipe threads. Right here I'm doing the manifold elbow. This side, do not put Teflon on. It is the compression fitting for the hose. Just the pipe threads is what you want to apply the Teflon to to make sure you don't have any leaks when you reassemble it. Now that I have all my fittings nice and clean and with the Teflon on there, I'm going to reinstall them onto the manifold. First by putting the manifold drain valves on there, go ahead and tighten them down to about 10 psi. Shut your valves off here so they're not opened up. Go ahead and flip the handle over and we're going to put the manifold elbows on next. As you can see I have Teflon tape on that side which is the pipe thread and the other side where the hose goes on to there is no Teflon at all. Very important not to put any Teflon tape on that hose fitting because the compression fitting does not need the Teflon to make the seal. Tightening the hoses back onto the elbows within the 11 16 wrench. And you want this pretty snug. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the nightcap and the retaining nut. 